Hello everyone. AB and CD are two parallel chords of a cycle whose diameter is AC. Prove that AB is equal to CD. Okay. How can we do that? Let's have a diagram here. This is the circle we have. Okay. The center of the circle, take it as some O. Okay. Now AB is one chord of a circle, AB. And there is another chord of a circle is there which is equal to CD. Okay. DC is one chord. And both are parallel to each other. And AC is the diameter, which means that if I join AC, this is the diameter of the circle. Now we have to prove AB is equal to CD. How can we prove that? Let's have a look. So what I am going to do here, I am going to join BC line and I am going to join AD line. Okay. If we observe carefully, since AC is the, since AC is the diameter of the circle, Okay, since AC is the diameter of the circle, angle formed in a semicircle is that means angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, and here also angle formed AC will divide the circle into two parts, right? So this is one part of the semicircle and this is another part of the semicircle. So angle ADC is also equal to 90 degrees. Okay, observe carefully. I am going to take here in triangle, triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Okay, these are the two triangles I have taken. Now angle ABC is equal to angle ADC. Both are equal to 90 degrees since angles in semicircle. Right? Angles in semicircle. Next point. AB is parallel to DC. Right? Since AB is parallel to DC. AC is the transversal. Right? The transversal. So I can write it as Angle CAB is equal to angle ACD. These two angles are equal, right? Because they both are alternate angles, right? They both are alternate angles. And AC is equal to AC. That's the common side, right? That is nothing but a common side. So I can prove that from AAS congruency, okay, from AAS congruency criterion, Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. When these two triangles are congruent to each other, from CPCT, from corresponding parts of congruent triangles, I can say that AB is equal to DC. Hence proved. Thank you.